Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Wait, what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Shit was clear as the summer sky already. You think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed in shell. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Something that might work versus a surgical procedure. The choice is clear, Johnny. Raise him right on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually, eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So, this is how it ends. about this again I'm pleased not got my pride V not about to beg for my life James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition. I'm not gonna lie. Sano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. And another new lease on life. Mind opening the door? Want to enjoy the view. Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. Never be too sure. Just open it. I shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me. Ah, uh, good old Night City. Most reliable of late capitalism's human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you ever toss back in.
sure I'll handle it. Slipped up occasionally. Learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. If it was your call, I wouldn't think twice about having you killed. How the fuck would you know? Never bothered trying to understand who I am, what I'm about. I understand you well enough. You're a fucking narcissist. Look who's talking. Go ahead, pin the blame on me. Keep that conscience clean and sparkly. You spent your whole life living on a whim, looking out for your ass and your ass alone. You got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us? was just a big nothing burger and will just drift off into sweet slumber except only one of us is waking up you deserve it going out like this how the fuck so enlighten me for starters you're a narcissist and a sociopath the only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong Pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. Know the worst part, though? Nah, but guessing you do. Actually, could have been the fuck this system, gung ho rebel king you so like to think you were. But you self destructed. See, I didn't kill you, nor did Arasaka. Your sheer fucking arrogance did, Johnny. Always were your worst enemy. You. Your hubris. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? About sums it up. Yeah. Said my piece. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero, then you don't know jack shit about me. Circumstances have changed. Take care, V. V, stay with me. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Afterlife, see you there. They're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? Think I didn't hear. What? And I can talk. Good. About time. Was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Weiss, in the AV. 
You weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. But now, yeah, I felt I owed you this. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big ass bud in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. Just cut the Angram out safely. That it? A good rip will patch you quick and easy. Not this time. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Fuck. My whole life down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to. But it gets better. Trust me. Two years, and sapped nerves. That all your best docs can manage? I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never been able to. Why? Are you, you, you all right? I need, I need, need some air. Oh, legs are jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently it reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed doing. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preen, where's my stuff? Be listen to me. Your body, it ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, Aaron Rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be. Given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely.
Didn't escape death just to waste away here. Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This story. We do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. A lot longer than I thought or wanted. I guess you're away somewhere. Uh, hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, uh, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. I'm gonna live. New release and all, but not on the greatest terms. It'd be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. Say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you hey don't. Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. <sighs> Unbelievable. But how are you. This netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. 
Yeah? Yeah, in a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. Dick will love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. It is truly a pleasure to see you back and in good health. Though I cannot... Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. If it's any comfort to you, from where I sit, not as much has changed as you might think. I must merely make donations of tribute to somewhat different people. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall tell you. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. Turn it off now, thanks. Well, as you wish. Huh. Guess Saburo was right. The nail that protrudes from the wall gets hammered. Perhaps competent management of the corporation was neither his passion nor aim. Or maybe folks are using conspiracy theories to explain away his incompetence. Another possibility, indeed. Our sock is on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Our sock is on the way out. Except it's like playing whack a corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. Doesn't matter. I shall await your return. Better get going. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel. 
but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network wow. Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic. <laughs> so good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Good to have memories. It grounds you. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment. So what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be him again. You know what I mean? What are you trying to say exactly? This Seda Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? That was pressure, some threats, even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless why do you decide you were incapable there came a day i realized my losses could be higher if i put my foot down tried to buy you out before right you always said no what changed i just got tired v the tide's strong so strong I just can't resist it anymore. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. 
I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of, of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic. <laughs> Sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening Said kind. you could do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Check again. V. You'll think of something, Vic. I know you will, please. I did all I could. Don't have anywhere else to go. I'm sorry, V. So... It's over. Done. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. I get it, Vic. I believe you. Stay calm, level. I think I even envy you. But that's just not me. Something was taken from me, and I can't accept it. Attitude like that can only bring pain. Might be how it has to be. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vector, nothing personal, Friend of yours. you know? Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? So, of course, will you? Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look at Tyler's pressing problem here.
Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corporal Chill, rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit, not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Got it all wrong. Nomad, that's who I am. Oh shit. Fate's all around these days. You rapping? Even better. Booyah! Ah! Ah! V? V? What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly... I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city, and the crowds. Man, of all people. Never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Uh, Vic signing on to work for Zeta Tech? No, not that. It was a blow, that's sure. We had a huge fight about it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, mewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Don't know what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. 
But it did? Mm hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. You made the best choice of all of us. Leave an NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, B. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. I'd actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. I'm sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits of the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Don't get me wrong, door's always open, you'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City, and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, B. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. We 
when you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tawa. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap where I found you. I wish for you to know this. You are a very strong medicine being. Hey, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's it's nice you tried to reach out to me, and, and it's it's good to know that you're you're whole, you're you're all right. But, um, well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's, she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh, now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just don't call. I look back at times of what happened and think about you, Songbird. We did right, that I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Avi, it didn't quite work out uh, on last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon family and our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco, of all places. <sighs> A new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? <laughs>